Hello friends, welcome to Unity Scripting API Time Essentials video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed time dot delta time versus time dot fixed delta time. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss time dot time scale. Time scale is a public static variable within the time class. Time dot time scale is used to get or set the scale at which time is passing. Time dot time scale is used to speed up slow down or pause all time based updates that is time dot time scale is used to speed up slow down pause or resume the gameplay guys it is recommended that if you modify time dot time scale then you must modify the time dot fixed delta time by the same amount let's have a demonstration and understand how do we pause resume speed up slow down the gameplay using time dot time scale i minimize the word I go to Unity. Here I am going to create a cube. I say game object 3D object cube. I reset its position to 0, 0, 0. I move it left by minus 5 units. I move it up by 5 units. To move this cube, I need a script. So I am going to create a script here. Right click create a C sharp script. I name this cube controller. Hit enter. I select the cube, drag the cube controller on it. I open the cube controller within the mono develop. You can see that cube controller.cs is open within the mono develop. First, I am going to delete unnecessary code. I select these two lines, say delete. I delete this code. Now I want to move the cube 5 units per second down. So within the update method, I say this dot transform dot position plus equal to new vector 3 in x axis 0f in y axis minus 5f in z axis 0f as we want to move the cube down 5 units per second i need to use here time dot delta time right multiplied by time dot delta time here you can see that i am using minus 5f y is negative down so i am saying here minus 5f if i say file save go to unity and click on the play button you will see the cube moving down 5 units per second right i stop it i create one sphere here i say game object 3d object sphere i reset its position to 0 0 0 i move it right by 5 units i move it up by 5 units to move the sphere i need a script so here i right click say create say c sharp script i name it sphere controller hit enter i select the sphere i drag sphere controller on it i open the sphere controller within the mono develop you can see that the sphere controller.cs is open inside the mono develop and I am going to delete unnecessary code. I delete this code from here. Here I say wide fixed update opening floor bracket closing floor bracket. I want to move the sphere based on the physics update. So we need the same code. I am going to copy this code from here and paste in the fixed update method. Instead of delta time, we know that we use here fixed delta time, right? File, save go to unity once i click on the play button you will see cube and sphere moving down five units per second right one is moving with the help of update method and the other one is moving with the help of fixed update method right as i told that using time dot time scale we can pause and resume the gameplay we can speed up as well as slow down the gameplay to do that i am going to create one script right click create c sharp script i name this as game play controller hit enter i attach this gameplay controller to main camera so i select the main camera and drag the gameplay controller on it i open the gameplay controller within the mono develop you can see that gameplay controller.cs is open within the mono develop i delete unnecessary code so i'm going to select these two lines say delete i delete the update method and the comment here we know that the start method is executed before any updates right so here i say time dot time scale equal to 1f we know that if we modify the time dot time scale we also need to modify time dot fixed delta time right here i say time dot fixed delta time equal to time dot fixed delta time multiplied by time dot time scale that's what i told here it is recommended that if you modify time dot time scale then you must modify 
the time dot fixed delta time by the same amount that is what we are doing here okay by default time dot time scale is set to 1f that indicates the normal gameplay speed guys if i say file save go to unity and click on the play button you will see both objects moving down 5 units per second there is no change in the gameplay speed that's the normal gameplay speed now what i do i am going to set this to 0f if i set time dot time scale to 0f then what happens the gameplay is going to be paused in the beginning itself if i say file save go to unity and click on the play button you see that the game objects are not moving you can see that the game objects are not moving because the gameplay is paused let me stop and go back to the code if i want to reduce the reduce the gameplay speed also if i say here 0.5 then the gameplay speed is going to be half now if i say file save go to unity and click on the play button you see objects moving down by 2.5 units per second that is the half speed guys right stop if i want i can double the gameplay speed if i say 1 that's normal if i say 2 it is going to double the gameplay speed i say file save go to unity and click on the play button you will see object moving objects moving more faster right that is 10 units per second they are moving so that is how you can pause the gameplay using time dot time scale equal to 0f you can resume the gameplay by setting time dot time scale equal to 1f you can half the gameplay speed by using 0.5f you can double the gameplay speed by saying 2f understanding so you can pause resume slow down speed up the gameplay using time dot time scale variable guys time dot time scale is used to speed up slow down pause or resume all time based updates i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly experiment more in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about time class and its properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial